Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about the mechanism of action of some very important class of vasodilators that is nitroglyceride or we can say nitrates. So different group of nitrate we use in uh, certain uh, such patient of cardiac diseases for example congestive heart failure in case of uh, left ventricular hyper, uh, heart failure or uh, uh, angina uh, in, the, in, in such different sort of cardiovascular diseases we use uh, some vasodilators, angiotensin in in converting enzyme inhibitors and a lot of class of drugs in order to decrease the uh, preload, in order to decrease the afterload, in order to decrease the work of the heart. So the defected heart can uh, perform its function well. So this class of uh, group that is nitrate group has different uh, sort of drugs that is nitroglycerine. We mainly use sublingually and isosorbate, isosorbite, mononitrate, isosorbite, dinitrate. So these are the drugs and a lot of class of tetranitrate, a lot of class of these drugs we can use in uh, as a vasodilator. So if somebody asks you that what is the, which type of the drug which is the metabolite of another drug but it is available in the market as a vasodilator if somebody asks then your answer should be isosorbate mononitrate because it is the metabolite of dinitrate and it is available in the market so let's go through the mechanism of action of nitroglycerin and nitrate drugs so before going through the action mechanism of action of the drug we have to know that how the smooth muscle of the vessels they contract, they undergoes contraction. Spindle shaped muscle, they have calcium channels. Once these calcium channel open up, calcium enter into the smooth muscle and they, what they do, they activate the endoplasmic reticulum and this endoplasmic reticulum then release the calcium which stored in stored form and this calcium then bind to, binds to some other protein that protein is what we call as calmodulin calmodulin protein that is calmodulin what is the calcium 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 ion bind with the calmodulin it activate another group of protein uh, enzyme that is myosin light chain kinase was the calcium calmodulin complex activate the myosin light chain kinases then these kinases go and phosphorylize the light chain of myosin above which the actin filaments are present in muscle no troponin no tropomyosin so in smooth muscle because of absence of troponin and tropomyosin the calcium perform a good uh, for the uh, good role in uh, contraction. So this mycin light chain kinase phosphorylize the head of light chain of myosin. Once it phosphorylize, it contract. In the smooth muscle, contraction occurs. After the contraction some in some enzymes which is phosphatases phosphatases these phosphatases dephosphorylize the head of myosin and again relaxation occur so this is the normal working of the muscle in case of nitro nitride action the nitrates They contain 
nitric oxide and nitric oxide is the best vasodilator of the smooth muscles it is normally present in our uh, blood circulation and uh, our endothelial cells they releases the this vasodilator in order to keep the vessels dilated so once the nitroglyceride enter into the smooth muscle what it do i will have to make it a little bit large and we have to write this small this mycin light chain kinase so in this case when the nitrate enter into the cell smooth muscle it activate enzyme that is gonocyl gonolyl 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 cyclase once this gonolyl cyclase activated what it do it convert gtp into cyclic gmp it is the second or we can say first intracellular messenger once this messenger activated what it do it phosphorylates an enzyme it activate an enzyme that is protein kinase g once the protein kinase g become activated it dephosphorylates this here the calcium calmodulin pathway complex it phosphorylates this enzyme once this kinase phosphorylates it again it phosphorylates the light chain and contraction occur but in this case when the nitrate enter into the muscle cell it activate gonadotropin cyclase then gonadotropin cyclase convert gtp to cyclic gmp then it activated the uh, protein kinase g this protein kinase g dephosphorylates the mycin light chain kinase once it dephosphorylates it it will not perform its action it will not perform its action and this pathway will be stop once this pathway stop it will not contract in the muscle undergoes relaxation in the smooth muscle undergoes relaxation